All right, today's video, I'm going to talk about Musha. Unlike other YouTubers on here, no Kickstarter required for this video. I don't need $4,500 to make this one. A few days ago, I got this in the mail, my reproduction copy of Musha, $22.99 from China. Saved myself $480. This is one of the holy grails of the Sega Genesis library. If not the holy grail, if there's a more expensive Sega Genesis game, let me know. Nice little case. You're kind of cheap. It doesn't close down all the way. Um, the game doesn't fit properly. But it, whatever. It's, uh, it's $22.99 or so. I know I paid less than $25, $22.99, $23.99, something like that. It looks good, though. I mean, on camera it does. If you look at it closely, you could tell it's not real. You could tell this was printed out on some someone's uh, home printer. But it's, it's cool that it's an actual game. So, here we go. Actual game I could hold, even though it's a fake. But it's being played on a authentic Sega Genesis, no Retron for this one. Okay, so Musha. This game is so big, so beloved that I guess YouTubers need $4,500 to review it. I don't. I like making videos. I like entertaining people for free. So, uh, this is not a review. This is like, uh, I'm just picking apart at this game slowly. I played it the last two days after work to get a good feel for it. Um, I don't want to say it's overrated, underrated. I'm just playing it. I'm playing it because I like shooters. But I will analyze it right now. First thing, the music. When you turn on the game, it's one of the first things you notice is the music. I'm not feeling it with the soundtrack. None of the tunes are sticking in my head, tell you the truth. Um, top of my head, Raiden, R-Type, Gaiares, even a low-end shooter like Aeroflash has a better soundtrack than this game, in my opinion. Um, going to work, none of the tunes are staying in my head. So there you go. I, I'm learning the mechanics of this one. I don't know them completely, and that's why I don't want to review the game thoroughly yet. But here you go, uh, when I did my initial impressions video, I didn't even know how to control the speed. All you do is pause the game and press the D-pad, and here's your speed right here. I like to be on a 4, 5, or 6 on bosses. Um, this is your uh, little helpers right here. You could stock up on them. They have limited durability, so here you go. And that's what the form is, see? So you want to shoot these pellet holders right here. There you go. So there's my uh, first helper right there. And then you could, you could control its uh, form. I like to go with uh, forward, so you have a thicker stream of uh, firepower. So uh, form is very essential in this game. Uh, for a 1990s, uh, not early 1990s, this game was actually made in 1990. Sega Genesis game. It does look good, but uh, nothing's blowing me away. Okay, so that thing I picked up, that green, that's a power-up. So, B is your secondary weapon, which is cool. I like that. Unfortunately, there's only three weapons in this game. If you collect the same color, you could uh, power it up. That's the level right there. And like I said, I'm still uh, learning the mechanics of this game, but I believe you could get hit once when you have a special weapon, and you lose it if you get hit, but you don't die extra life right there. That brown is another weapon. I, I missed out on it. So there's only three weapons in this game, which is kind of disappointing. I would have liked more variety. I got hit. Now I lost my uh, green laser there. Blue. Not a fan of blue. It just circles you like this. You don't shoot it or anything. I don't really use that. I use the blue or the, um, I use the green or the brown power up. There you go, see that one? Now if my helper gets destroyed, I have an extra one in stock. They could stock up on those. So there's there's three right here. 
be free, they like seek and destroy, but they get they break. They break down when you go to a uh, um, free mode. So here's backwards mode, reverse, get you sideways. Uh, there's a brown power. There you go, missiles now. I like these. They're powerful. And they have splash damage, which is good. Yeah, you you ought to pay attention to the pellets. Yeah, I got hit again, so I lost my uh, I lost my missiles. So I'll grab that power. You want to grab a power up right away? It's like a free hit. So there you go. See, on my uh, left and right, there's my uh, little helpers right there. Two right now. So what I'm liking about this game. I like the mechanics, it's definitely different. I like the secondary weapons. You could also hold down B and C and fire both at the same time, secondary and main weapon. I like the helper. I like the uh, helper concept. Uh, right now, I don't know if I like this game more than Robo Alest, though. Robo Alest is not as complex as this game, but Robo Alest has more memorable music. I think I like the graphics in Alest more. So that's to be determined. I gave Robo Aless an 8.9 out of 10. Um, I, guess I don't want to review this game, but right now I'm feeling about a 9, maybe an 8.9. In terms of Sega Genesis shooters, so far, I think Gaiaras is better. I gave Gaiaras the 2015 game of the year. And uh, if you watch my initial impressions on Gaiaras, I was maybe... I was way more stoked in that in that initial impression than I was with Musha. Not saying this game's boring, but I guess part of it was I was learning the mechanics. Gaiaras, I just jumped in right away. But now I'm having more fun, definitely. Now that I'm now that I'm learning the mechanics of this game. So I'm thinking in other videos, I'm gonna compare it to other shooters since this is regarded so highly, and I have a few shooters myself. I think I'm going to do another video where I'm comparing it to something else, like a game like Gaiar is. And no Kickstarter required for that one, I'm going to do it for free. Oh yeah, this guy gave me some problems. So you want to you wanna hit him fast. And then I will go with the three-way here, so I could shoot sideways, so I could stay out of his range of fire. So yeah, there's definitely, um, there's definitely, um, a strategy when using your little uh, helpers. I have four right now. Now my missiles are level three. See, now I'm shooting three. But yeah, definitely a good game. I gotta say that. Um, it's really, it's really, it's a really good game. Uh, should you pay five hundred dollars for it? No. But if you see one at the thrift store for five dollars. Yeah, definitely pick it up. But honestly, um, if you don't mind emulation, emulate it. If you need to hold a tangible copy, I say um, buy a repro like me, less than $25. So I have three helpers in stock right now, which is good. I have uh, my missiles powered up. And I'm at the boss, so I'm going to switch to my speed a little faster on my speed now. And I'm going to go with... Uh, forward here. Yeah, I like this boss. What is this thing? It's like a, a house on wheels or something. So the game I'm going to uh, compare this to is probably Gaiaris. I haven't died yet, so let's go forward. I should, I should take this guy out pretty fast. See, I'm, in my initial impression video, my speed was on three, so I couldn't dodge this guy's projectiles. Now it's a piece of cake. Easy pattern. Hey, I see this boss song. I, I, I'm not feeling it. This song doesn't stick in my head. None of the music so far is ingrained in my memory. But definitely a good game. Uh, playing it for the last two, three days, it's definitely a good game. I'm just not feeling it on the soundtrack. It's not sticking in my head. I like the complexity, but it could have been better. Like this song. 
Yeah, I'm not... I'm not saying the music's terrible, but I'm not feeling it. I don't hear this song in my head at work. Now, what I'm liking about this game is this right here. I'm liking uh, the formation, that you could choose formation on your helpers. That's cool. All right, so that's that's my uh, after that's my impressions of uh, Musha after getting to play it for a couple days and uh, learning the mechanics and actually understanding the mechanics a little more. It's a really good game, definitely, definitely a really good game. All right, everyone, I'm going to play this some more, learn some more, get through this game. Everyone, kick ass, be safe and take it easy.